Good morning children. Today we shall learn about multiplication of rational numbers. As we know multiplication is repeated addition. Like here there are 4 baskets and 5 hens in each basket which means 4 times 5 hens. It is just like adding 4 fives. The result would be 20 just like 4 times 5. If we treat 5 as a rational number that is we write it as a ratio and we write 5 as 5 by 1. 4 times 5 by 1 means we add 4 5 by 1's. Here we just add the numerators as they all are like fractions meaning the denominator is common which is 1. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 means 4 times 5 and this is equal to 20 by 1 which is equal to 20. So what do we see here? Though we treated 5 as a rational number and wrote it like a ratio, still multiplication was repetitive addition only. Correct? Let's take another example. Aman bought 5 quarters of a pound cake. 5 times quarter means 5 multiplied by quarter which is 1 by 4. Here we add 5 1 fourths. Again we add the numerators only. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by 4. This we can write it as 5 times 1 by 4. Isn't it? Now Aman bought 1 and half kg cake and wanted to divide it into two halves. Here each part would be equal to 3 quarter of a kg. How? 1 and half kg means 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1 by 2 which is 3 by 2 kgs. Now we want to find half of 3 by 2 kg and it is equal to 3 quarters. This is 3 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2. Look here we multiply numerator by the numerator. So it is 3 multiplied by 1 which is equal to 3 and we multiply the denominator by the denominator that is 2 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 4. Thus we get 3 by 4 that is 3 quarters. During the multiplication of two rational numbers we multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the two rational numbers to get the product. And we do the same while multiplying the negative rational numbers too. That is, we multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. Here, we are multiplying minus 3 by 5 by 3. So, the problem is 3 multiplied by minus 3 by 5. Now 3 can be written as 3 by 1. Here we multiply numerator by the numerator. So it is 3 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 9. And then we multiply denominator by the denominator. So 1 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 5. Now what about negative sign? We have learnt when we multiply the negative integer by the positive integer, the result is a negative number. Same is applied to the rational numbers too. 
negative rational number multiplied by positive rational number is equal to a negative rational number. So, 3 multiplied by minus 3 by 5 will have a result which is a negative rational number which is equal to minus 9 by 5. During the multiplication of two rational numbers, we multiply numerator by the numerator and denominator by the denominator of the two rational numbers. Like here, we have 7 by 20 multiplied by 5 by 14. Here, instead of just multiplying the big numbers, we can first simplify it and then multiply. How? Let us see. Now we know we can multiply or divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So to simplify, here we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5. Factor 5 will be cancelled from both the numerator and the denominator as 5 fours are 20. Again, this can be simplified further if we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 7. Factor 7 will be cancelled from the numerator and the denominator as 7 twos are 14. Now you may ask why do we cancel the common factors? If we cancel all the common factors from both the numerator and the denominator that is the numerator and the denominator have no common factors left, then that means numerator and the denominator would be co-prime. Like here, 1 and 8 are co-prime and so we get a rational number in the standard form. So, the two simple steps to perform multiplication of rational numbers are first, multiply all the numerators and multiply all the denominators. Like here, 10 by 16 multiplied by minus 4 by 5. Now coming to step 2. We cancel the common factors from the numerator and the denominator. Like 10 and 5 have the common factor 5. So we divide the numerator and the denominator by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2 as 5 twos are 10. Again, 4 and 16 have a common factor which is 4. So we cancel that factor 4. 16 divided by 4 equal to 4 as 4 fours are 16. And what do we get? We get 2 by 4. We can cancel the factor 2 further as 2 twos are 4. And what do we get? We get 1 by 2. And lastly, take care of the sign. Product of rational numbers with like or same signs would be a positive rational number. And product of rational numbers with unlike or different signs would be a negative rational number. As the signs are different here, so the product would be negative rational number that is minus 1 by 2. So now you know how to multiply given rational numbers. That's all for now. Bye bye children.